Good morning, folks. We've got some space weather in detail, a reason to apply all those pretty satellite bands you saw last night in the best of Go 16, and news on planets and cosmology as well. But we're beginning at spaceweathernews.com. Finding the last 24 hours on our star relatively calm once again. We've got no solar flares because those bright areas have no sunspots, and the solar wind is calming down as well. Let's look at sunspots long term, revealing not only how weak this last 11 year cycle was compared to the previous cycle, but that we are approaching the minimum values of that monthly sunspot number. The official start of the next solar cycle can't be more than a few months to a year away. Let's look at the southern coronal hole here. We will expect its solar wind to arrive at Earth middle of the week, but we're already magnetically connecting to it now. Using ISWA, we see that small colored area. It's got black straight lines connecting to it. The black lines are meant to represent Earth's magnetic connection to our star. Now the coronal hole is very weak this morning as you can see by the color and if that holds, the quakes won't have what they need to reach higher magnitudes. Of course, surges in magnetism can occur over just a few hours, however, and we'll be watching closely for those power changes in our connection point. For more on coronal holes and connection point power in earthquakes, you'll want our second paper from 2015, the one below the co-authored work top right there. So yesterday I was watching a strong thunderstorm group form in the central states when, at the north end, middle of Kansas, the water vapor and cloud returns explode with a separated storm system, quickly expanding to merge their clouds with the larger system to the south. Now given the focus on fire-induced thunderstorms recently, I figured this could be that, but Sierra's fire temperature return showed zero, absolutely nothing. It wasn't until I slid to the dust band from EU METSAT that you can see the tight feeders of particles up into the clouds at the 7 o'clock position of the little storm. Those little lines are strong dust lift driven by the global electric circuit current flowing up and aiding in the nucleation and condensation profile of the air mass. Very cool. Two quick stories here. First, a hugely critical article on planet classification, claiming that chemical composition rather than orbital sharing is the hallmark of a planet decision and that it should not be up to a vote. The implications of some of these points are that Pluto was wrongfully stripped of its planetary status. Last but not least, please recall that while most mainstream dark matter searches are aiming for the WIMP, their second favorite is the axion or axion-like particle. Here it's that second one taking a new constraint by remaining in the shadows of their imagination. Anyway folks, we've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.